my name is Devon Pearce. I am the commercial director at a company based in Brighton called Trailer Farm. We are a video games agency and production company. So we do everything from creating video game trailers. Um, we also create cutscenes and in-game content, anything that's basically not playable within a video game. Um, clients come to us and we create those things for them. I'm the commercial director, so my responsibility is looking after the team that essentially brings in the money. So I look after the sales team and all the account managers as well. So my role involves everything from planning ahead for the coming year. So at the moment, I'm looking at things like the budget for 2024, how much we're expected to bring in, how much we're going to spend as well. Um, and then it's my responsibility to make sure that my team is speaking to the clients as regularly as possible, planning out account plans and looking at where they're going to be um, you know, generating revenue next year, speaking to their clients to find out what games are coming up and not just next year because, you know, games take four or five years to create. So in some cases, we're already in conversations with people about games that are going to be released in 2025, 2026. Um, so looking at those very early kind of marketing plans and how we get that underway. The best thing is that there's really... Whatever you're interested in doing, if you're creative or even if you're not creative, but you like the idea of working in a creative industry, um, there's something for you to do at Trailer Farm. And every single day is different. At any one time, we're working on about 20 different projects and they're all different stages of production. So somewhere at very early early conversations with clients where we might be putting together ideas and pitching ideas there's another project or a few other projects where we're sort of in pre-production stage. So that's all the planning before we actually move into creating the whatever it is that we're going to create. So we do storyboards at that stage and we do sort of edit, we call layout where you edit storyboards. So it sort of gives you the idea of the um, tempo and the feel of the piece that you're creating. Um, We've got other projects that are we're doing music searches and we're doing com composition for some really great music tracks for pieces. And then we've got other titles where we're about to start doing some motion capture. So you may have seen people who put those funny um suits on and then they have the dots that kind of match up with a character so we're doing all of that we've got a couple of shoots of that this week um we've got another shoot that's happening over in poland um we've got one that's happening in bulgaria at the moment as well and then you've got everything right through to the teams that are playing brand new games that aren't out yet and no one else has access to and sort of editing that all together so there's really a complete variety of projects and unlike i suppose working in games where you might work at a developer who are the people that make the games or at a publisher who are the people that kind of sell the games um, and package them up and sell them. Personally, for me, I love working in an agency and production company because I think the variety is great. So yeah, my, my I work very closely with the production teams. We have a production director as well, who also looks after a load of producers. So we have about eight producers at the company. Um, and I also work very closely with the creative services director who looks after all of our artists. Um, and that's anything from people who literally play games for a living, game capture artists, um, right through to graphic designers, creative directors, editors, um, and then also with our operations director who really oversees the kind of day-to-day -day running of the company. So that's everything from HR, finance, invoicing, um, just financial planning in general and company planning, IT, et cetera, as well. I suppose the, the only thing I would say with jobs is that there's so much opportunity to jump around as well. So it, unlike certain careers, like if you're going to be a doctor or a lawyer, where you kind of pick your career path and you just go, that that's what you're going to do. You really dedicate to it. Um, there's so much opportunity to jump around. There's really no kind of one career path, but whatever it is that you're interested in, as I said before, even if it's not something creative, if you're not a creative person, but you think I'd really love to work in video games. Like, you know, we need accountants, we need HR people, we need account managers, we need um, people that are just good at general management organization. There's project managers, producers, artists, graphic designers. Um, you know, there's there's so many different roles for creative or non-creative people. 
um, and it's a great place to work. Yeah, so there's actually um, very interestingly quite, it's, it's not really a new production method, but it's definitely one that we're really championing at the moment, um, which is virtual production. And because we make games, um, games are built in uh, these things called engines, which are basically what just runs the game. But the great thing about a game engine is that then you can really create anything anywhere, any time of day. So what we've started doing is um, we, we do virtual production shoots. So as opposed to taking a crew of people, you know, flying them all around the world to different locations, we literally can just put them into a virtual production studio and we use the game engine to change the environment. So you can, it, it means not only is it sort of greener as well in terms of not having people flying all over the place, um, it's also really good for production because it means that you're not beholden by the weather, um, by other things that are going on as well. So you take some, you take people into a virtual production studio and um, you can change the time of day. You know, one minute they can be shooting in Paris, the next minute they're shooting in London, the next minute they're shooting in LA, but day, night, all these different things. And it is, you know, being sort of heralded as being a much more sustainable route to production in some cases not not in every case but um you know there is there are definite benefits to virtual production so that's definitely something that that we're working on and i guess just as a studio in general we're very kind of conscious of the environment and what we do and um you know as much as possible we try to sort of reduce our footprint as well because i think everyone has to now it's so important <laughs> Yeah, so we have lots of options for people that want to get into working in games and especially in our kind of area. Um, we unfortunately, because of the nature of the content that we work on, we don't know what we're going to have in the studio. And some of it is, you know, over 18s content only just by the nature of video games. So we're not able to offer work experience to people under the age of 18. They have to be over 18. Um, we do have a series of work experience placements that we offer tend to be over the holidays um, to fit in with school or uni. So once people hit 18, um, we're always having entry level positions as well. So at the moment, I'm looking for a commercial coordinator to come into my team and help. So that's an entry level position. Um, we have got uh, someone who is the production coordinator. That's also an entry level position. So there's always lots of those available. Um, and we like to try and move people up and promote them as quickly as possible once they've got the experience. So um, there's lots of opportunities there. One of the absolute most important things, I think, for getting a job in this career, or even if you're coming from something else, is finding what your transferable skills are. So if you're working as a travel agent, are you really organized? Great, you can come and be a producer. Like that's a, a core skill that you need to be a producer. Um, you know, if you're working in a shop, have you got good customer service and sales experience? In which case, come and join my team and be part of the kind of account management and sales pitching team. Um, so it's just finding what your transferable skills are because everyone has them. Um, and even if you've got experience that you think isn't necessarily relevant, find how it is relevant. And, and that's what's going to get you in the door. So we're also used to working with people that have got different neurodiversities as well. And actually, um, you know, those those people are very, very welcome in games that, you know, having a having a heightened attention to detail or, um, you know, just knowledge or, you know, just having a really, really creative mind is and thinking completely differently to other people is something that is very, very welcome. So, um, you know, and even if you need some help with how you want to have that initial conversation if you prefer to not have your camera on if you would prefer to do it over you know just sort of messaging rather than a face-to-face -face conversation or even a video conversation then we're always happy to, to sort of help with however we can to to make it a most a sort of welcoming experience for everybody and and get everyone in, interested in views because there's so many great things to be doing in games I think the thing that I wish I'd known is that it's very easy to move around. So don't get too fixated about, you know, having to do everything all at once. Like get as much experience as you can. And really the thing that you have to realize is that people want to help you. So ask for help, ask for opportunities, put yourself out there and just, you know, register an interest. People are interested when you're interested in what they're doing. Um, 
it doesn't hurt to, to ask someone if they've got an opportunity or if there's a way that you can even go in and spend a day with them or if there's if you can just have a conversation with people people are always happy to just have a chat with you and just tell you what they do for their job or answer any questions that you've got so yeah, I think if I could go back and and sort of give myself some advice I would just say take every opportunity and create the opportunities because they're there. You just need to find them. Um, and then, yeah, move around, try different things, find what you really enjoy. Um, and then you'll be good at it and it will be easy. And also don't, you're not going to find these jobs advertised on places like Indeed or Read or any of those other sort of typical and basically anyone that can av- afford to advertise on TV, you're not going to find the creative jobs there. Um, you need to be going to specialist uh, places, even LinkedIn, register that you're interested in these kind of jobs, have a look at them on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is an amazing tool um, and most companies advertise on LinkedIn. But yeah, other places like Eric, um, so if you can find an industry body as well that sort of represents that industry, you'll often find that the jobs are advertised there too. And that goes for all industries, not just games, that's for, you know, any kind of creative advertising, music, fashion, they're not going to be advertising them on, on Indeed. So don't, if you want creative career, don't go to Indeed. 